I'm Joel McCower, executive editor of Green Biz, here in Studio C with Paul Hawken. Paul, you said that the sharing economy is going to be bigger than the internet. Really? Yeah, I did. Well, it depends on the internet, so it's not in opposition or in, as a substitute. But the the internet uh, started out as science, as you know, DARPA, and then became the the home of pornography first initially in terms of economics, and now is the home of advertising and. The collaboration economy is a, none of those really were paradigmatic. The internet is paradigmatic in terms of the connectivity, but not economically. And the collaborative economy is fundamentally uh, the most revolutionary change in the economy uh, in, I don't know how long, it, it, it's, it's hard to say, but in a long, long time, because it changes all the relationships between the actors, between the players in the economy, it changes the uh, the incentive to scale, uh, it then uh, starts to go back to uh, the village in a sense of your reputation, your character, uh, whether you were or not trustworthy uh, as a person becomes important in the collaborative economy. It makes, uh, it creates socialization. It's the opposite of the internet where you know you're online alone right. uh, because all collaborative economic ventures evolve really people in meeting new people and, and, and interacting in such a way, but also has a huge impact in terms of how much matter, material, and stuff we use. And so we shift from way back when I wrote The Next Economy, from uh, economy of stuff to economy of information, transported and interchanged by people. So this is about the relocalization of commerce to a large extent. Does that mean that big multinational companies become less relevant? Uh, they do if they think they don't have to change. They do have to change. They may have to break up. They may have to decentralize. They may have to change their culture. They may have to realize that the m money is in the, in the service as opposed to the, the sales. They may have to make things much more durable and make less of them than less durable and more of it. Uh, they're going to have to change how they understand uh, sales channels, uh, supply chains, uh, uh, where to make things, how to make them. Yeah, I think it's going to be a very powerful change for the companies and um, on food, on energy, on, on transportation, on health, on insurance. I mean, you look at the number of companies that are just, you know, sprouting up in this area that uh, can disintermediate big business and it's astonishing. But if it was just disintermediation, it would be interesting. But what happens is that it brings people together that uh, the industrial economy did not do. It actually separated us uh, in sprawl, in suburbs, in, you know, in our little mini mansions and castles and abodes. You know, and we became less socialized creatures. So it's such a powerful, powerful uh, uh, paradigm. Yeah. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you. Nice to meet you.